Y'all gonna have to excuse me, man. Over here, it's raining a whole lot right now. It's raining real bad. I'm just relaxed over here today to talk about Jim Jones. Y'all didn't see me for a minute, you know, family first, but I love this channel. I'm watching Jim Jones. I'm staring at Jim Jones in the last couple of days, and a lot of things is fading away, Jim. That aura that you guys had, being part of the famous group Ever Dipset, we came from a legendary versus battle. And I kept saying, bro, like, how could one man mess up the vibe, bro? Like, see, y'all picked who won between the locks and dip sets. I didn't care who won so as long as I won. You know what I mean? Bro, like, I didn't care who won that little battle situation. I just wanted to win. If it makes sense to y'all. I personally wanted to win. And I'm staring at the situation like, what are we looking at today? What, what, what the hell are we looking at? Jim, a man who's now made excuses after excuses, never addressed the situation forefront the way he's supposed to. I don't got no hate for Jim Jones. Salute to Jim Jones. Jimmy, they used to call him. Now, this guy is out here doing some type of vax ad, educational purpose. He now is saying that he got the Rona. You know what I mean? He said he got that right now. He's going, then he did a whole speech. First of all, if your family and friends are going through that and they did, you know, get, um, you know, they caught that, that disease educational purpose that's out there. Our prayers are in their thoughts and we hope they overcome and do well. But what we don't want to hear is while we know some people are probably suffering through the capacity of that for real. We know there are men like Jim Jones taking full scale advantage of folks like that. We do know that Jim Jones and a whole lot of others have now took the time to say, you know what, this is going to be about me, you, and nobody else. I'm going to come on here and say that I'm sick. That's what he's saying. He's like, oh, I, I was one of the people who didn't believe it, and now I believe it. Oh, I couldn't breathe. He, he said a whole lot of everything. I couldn't breathe. Now I could see. Now I'm this. And now I'm that. We get you, Jimmy. We get you, Jimmy. The charade is up, my G. Like, a lot of y'all believe in y'all own lies so much, the lies become more beneficial to what the truth is, my guy. At the end of the day, them indictment paperwork didn't have your name on it, which was weird. But, I mean, the indictment paperwork didn't have it, but the wiretaps had you. Other paperwork had you on it as far as you speaking with your own guys, you know, Mel Murder and all these people, bro. This is all legend. I don't want to get nobody in trouble or indicted. But you never really spoke the close proximity of like, bro, why are you involving all this behind shady ish? You giving examples how to kill people educational purpose. You, you're instructing you're, you're you're doing all this and you mean not even a scratch the feds gave you not even a handcuff not even an interview or so they say they interviewed already like I see a lot of people talking about this jim jones situation people are using a rap word people are using a whole lot i'm not using any of the above i'm saying lack of accountability you know what I mean? That's what we suffer here through Jimmy. Lack of accountability, a whole lot of um, transgressions that he did amongst the so-called wolves and, and things like that. Because had Jimmy Jones been you and me, and we got this on our resumes and our background, I beg to tell you, bro, he would be the first person that be on this to tell y'all, oh, I'm a rat. This person is out here cooperating. He'll, he'll do all that. He did that in the past, and he, do, he does them now. Jimmy been quiet as a house mouse since Trey Way and them been locked away. Jimmy been doing his flexing, doing all this. Jimmy kind of made Dipset look bad. My nigga is falling down off stage. I mean, he got a lot going on. Bro, how do you fall down off stage, my Negrumps? Off stage, gang? Just everything about you, bro, like... The fact that you don't got four beautiful kids out here right now, maybe he does. If I'm wrong, y'all, I apologize. You and Chrissy, relationship, educational purpose, I don't, shout out to y'all, beautiful relationship. The fact that you can stay with anybody that long in this day and time, must salute to you, my G. 
But the other aura I get from Chrissy is, bro, like, she runs you, my, my, my G. She runs you, bro. I feel like you want to respond to certain things and you don't do a lot because Chrissy is the boss. Chrissy is the one who played the string. Shout out the... Uh, uh, um, that boy Wave locked up right now, man. The Wave told us about Chrissy. <laughs> and I ain't talking about the summer in Miami, neither, bro. But, but we heard there's a lot of summers you've been doing out there, bro. Like, niggas ain't jacking what you guys are saying, bro. Like, the excuse for Jimmy that's being made, he should be speaking like that. It shouldn't be you and I. I'm seeing 10 people making 30 videos. It shouldn't be none of that. Jim Jones should be the one speaking, clarifying information to us, letting us know what, what happened. Know what I mean? What happened with you, King? This, this ain't it. What the hell happened, bro? You over here making all these different narratives, bro. And it's like, my God, my G. Are we going to allow this? Jim Jones come out the way and, and, and he mess up one of the potential hip hop greatest moment in history. It's still it's still one of the um, best moments we have, but the greatest, I don't know, bro. I started looking at the replays of it and I loved it. I love the whole Dipset anthems. I mean, I love everything about the locks, but it's like now every time I'm staring at Jimmy falling off the stage and I'm all I can think of is the 6ix9ine situation, Treyway, Shoddy. Male murder, like that's all you hear, bro. Like if I if I watch if it's just a Jewel Santana video, all I see is the Jim Jones situation. If it's just a Cameron, you know what I mean. Even back in the glory days of J.R. Ryder and Forty Cal, like I can't even listen to day legendary freestyles no more without thinking, what is Officer Educational Purpose Jimmy doing here, gang? This this look wild, nah, son. I can't make excuses for this. This right here is gonna be the. The, I don't know how you say the same, but this is going to be what is done away with Jim Jones, bro. Because people are always going to look side-eyes with that thing right there. You play the actual audio and the clips, and you hear everything, bro. It's a full-scale conversation. This ain't 6 9 words. This ain't whack 100 words and what whack 100 got to say. And I see the responses. I'm going to make a separate video of whack 100 and Jim Jones. And I know I did a response video already, but this it's been breaking news for the last three, four days. I ain't been making videos. That man, WAC 100, been producing a whole lot of <laughs> information out there. I mean, motherfuckers, educational purpose are calling and putting pressure. You know, you putting pressure on people behind the scenes, supposedly. And it ain't even Jimmy the one doing it. You know, maybe y'all going to be like, Jimmy is smart not to be the one. But if that's the case, then tell me about them wiretap tapes. If Jimmy moves so smart like that and Jimmy, he, he knows what to do and all the whole nine yard, why? Why on earth is Jim Jones caught on a tape telling you X, Y, and Z what to do, bro? Like, I mean, bro, like, I don't know how you don't even get a, 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 a interrogation room handled to you after that, bro. Some type of paperwork, bro. I ain't even saying you got to be in jail or nothing, bro. At least them talking to Jim's behind the scenes would have told me, well, at least he handled it with them boys already. You know what I mean? Oh, everything is squared away. He ain't hiding from it. But them not even mentioning Jim Jones in the situation, bro, it's spooky. It's making you think, what else? What else went down? What else? What, 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 what propaganda... Are they spewing out here to the masses, bro? That's what I want to know. What pop propaganda? I said propaganda. What propaganda are they telling us out here and everything is all cool? Everything is all copa steady. I don't, nah, it ain't copa steady, bro. Everything ain't cool like that. Everything got to be explained in a proper way. Jim Jones is the man who made everybody in their mama explain every single situation it was in. Wrong or right? To see this man not have a self-explanation for why he chilling with rats, playing the monkey see, monkey do games, and everybody gave him the green light pass to it, bro. It's a green light special to it. He got a pass. We got to admit it. We got to look at it for what it is, and we got to say this is what it was. Jim Jones survived a Donatello Ratatello situation. <laughs> Oh, how? That mean we don't know if he told or not, but he damn sure was in the eye of the storm and he managed not to even get grazed, touch, or anything, bro. Like, that right there is remarkable itself and not get canceled. <laughs> and not get canceled. See, this is what give am, um, uh, ammunition, educational purpose, 
Two, what 6 9 got going on. It helps him be legendary in his rightness about what these characters are. Look, man, I got more saying to go for it, man. I want y'all to do me a favor and hit that like button. Hit that notification bell and come rock out with the most winningest team out here, man. I smoke hip-hop live. Gang up in this piece.